Good evening, everyone. This is Miss Kirsten again for another exciting episode of Night Night with Nichols to get you prepared with some amazing dreams. I hope you've gotten your night night chores done. You know, brushing your teeth, taking a bath, doing any chores left of it, picking up them toys. I hope so. I've got mine finished. I'm ready for our story. Did you know that Muslim girls, when they turn 13, they begin wearing a hijab or a headscarf? Wow. It's very important because wearing a hijab means they are strong, being strong. That is amazing. We're going to learn some more in tonight's book. But before I show you the title, I want to tell you about one of the authors of tonight's book. She is an Olympic medalist for fencing. That's the one with swords. I couldn't even do that. Wow. Kind of like knights and slain dragons. Oh, we want to protect the dragons, so. But that leads me to tonight's book, The Proudest Blue. A story of hijab and family and like I said before this is by Olympic medalist Ibtihaj Muhammad with SK Ali art by Hatem Ali Ooh, and it's read with permission from Little Brown and Company and the Hachette book group look how beautiful that is and look at that paper boat see that is a very beautiful blue mama holds out the pink mama loves pink but Asiya shakes her head I know why behind the counter is the brightest blue the color of the ocean if you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky it's the first day hijab Asiya knows it I know it we're sisters. Look at that. That is a pretty blue. The next day I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. She's twirling. And look at her sister, Asiya. Beautiful blue headscarf. Her hijab. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. That's true. Asiya takes my hand in hers, says, Come on, Faiza. We speed walk it. Ooh, 14 steps, 14 light-ups to get across. Remember, she has light-ups shoes. Asiya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess, going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. Faiza really likes her hijab, her sister's hijab. It is beautiful blue. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again louder now. A scarf, a hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. Look at that. Beautiful sky blue. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. 
a run to the big kid's side. 27 steps to see a Sia. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faisa, I see his eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I ask, about the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Look at that. Her sister's with all her friends. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Why is he pointing and laughing at Asiya? Hmm. Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. Look at that. Blue like the ocean and the sea. There's her paper boat. She's right behind her sister. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it so loud the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture too. Look at that. Two princesses with their hijabs, their headscarves. Beautiful. Recess time is for five cartwheel, cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Well, that wasn't very nice. Asiya's hijab is in a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue. Only blue. Asiya turns away. Her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. Very wise words from Mama. And they just go on playing. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. Whew. Gotta get away from that negativity. Look at her go. Look at her face. She's out of here. She don't need that negativity. She doesn't need that. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see Asiya waiting for me, like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. That beautiful blue. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. It was a very beautiful picture she made. See her holding it right there? Mm -hmm. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud wave saying I'll always be here, like sisters, like me and Asiya. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And there's Ibti Haj Muhammad. She's the one that wrote the book. And here's her sisters, Faiza and Asiya. Look how beautiful they are. the end of that. But I have something to show you. 
Look what I made. My very own paper boat. And look who's in it. A C and Fiza. They're together. Oh, isn't that wonderful? That's beautiful. She's wearing her beautiful blue hijab, which means she's strong. She has courage and confidence. You should too. Just because we wear something different than anyone else, or do something a little different than anyone else. That's no cause for negativity. We're not hurt. But she wasn't hurting anyone. And it gave her strength and courage and confidence. You know what? Wouldn't it be wonderful if you made a boat and filled it with what makes you happy, makes you confident, makes you feel strong. Would you like to learn how to make one of these boats? Like the one here with the Sia and Faisa? Well, remember, there's another author on this book tonight. Her name was S.K. Ali. And she has a special video to teach you how to make your very own paper boat that has all of your favorite things for strength, confidence, courage, and happiness. So, maybe tomorrow you can visit SKLE on YouTube and she'll show you how to make your very own paper boat for the proudest blue. I hope you have sweet dreams and you think about what makes you the proudest and the strongest and gives you the most courage. You dream on that and I'll dream on it too. From all of us here at BCPL, we wish you good night.